treasuring Christ together is a strategy, we're going to talk about it for three weeks, of trying to flesh that out in a local church. Not an easy thing to do. So if you like cosmic flow charts, here's one. I'll paint it in the air. God. Creator. Word of God, the Bible, inerrant, infallible, our charter for life and faith. Mission statement on the walls. I know it's not there at the south site, but someday. Mission statement trying to flesh out in a sentence that we can all memorize what the Bible means for us in our existence. <clears throat> and under that, a strategy called treasuring Christ together. So I want to talk about what that strategy is. Here's what it is in a sentence. It's a commitment to multiplying campuses, planting churches, and caring for the poorest of the poor through the global diaconate. <clears throat> so, TCT, Treasuring Christ Together, has three parts. I hope we can all repeat this. It has a way of planting, multiplying campuses so that this one downtown <coughs> doesn't have to have 10,000 people in it. <coughs> but rather we have multiple campuses, one church. That's a strategy. And the second part is we want to plant churches that are independent. Not just one church in several locations, but many churches independent of one another, flourishing, all of them under the Bethlehem elder affirmation of faith. We're not interested in planting generic evangelical churches with wishy-washy commitments to the Bible. We have a statement of faith 12 pages long. The churches we have planted have elders who sign on. We believe something specific about God. We have a vision of Christ. We want it to be multiplied. And the third piece is, everywhere you go in the Bible, God has a heart for the poor. And so, the global diaconate is that.